Hey folks, quick video showing you how to very quickly test a fluorescent tube to see whether it's good or not. It doesn't matter whether we're dealing with a circular tube or a straight tube. The principles are exactly the same. So at each end of the tube you have a set of terminals. On a straight tube we just have the two terminals at each end and on a round tube we are faced with four terminals so that these two are directly correlating to the electrodes or the filament in this end of the tube and the other two correspond to the ones the far side. Here we can see the filament inside one end of a fluorescent tube. This is used to start up the tube. Power is sent across the filament creating an arc. Then once successfully started power is sent from one filament right across the tube through the gases to the other filament. The most likely cause of a blown tube is the filament is burnt out. So that's what we're going to test using a multimeter. We're going to turn on our meter and set it to the ohm setting. Check our probes and wires, 0.5 ohms, that's perfect. And we're going to attach our probes to either side of the terminals. Here we're getting 2 ohms, that's an acceptable reading. Anything in the low ohm scale within a couple of ohms is fine. It means there's continuity through the filament and it's not broken. Here we're looking at another tube now. We can see a black darkened patch at one end of this tube which would be a good indication that that filament has blown. We're going to verify this now. First we'll check this filament. 2.3 ohms, so that filament's good. And now the suspected one. And we're getting open circuit. So that confirms that that filament is indeed blown and we need a new tube. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.